top 10. And we are now at number two of 1980s top designs. And, you know, there's only two left, so uh, we'll get right to it here. I'm going to go with number two right here. Number two is going to be 1984 tops. Yeah, you know, I really like this set. For me, this set is very personal to me. It was pretty much the first major uh, cards I started collecting. I was When I was a kid, I got little bits here and there from the earlier years in the late 70s, early 80s, but it was 84 that really put it on top of the map. My father, I'm going a little sentimental here, my father, I was a candy salesman, and of course, back in the 80s, they could still consider Tops a gum company. So uh, when he was at a trade show, he would br he brought me back a whole box of cello packs just like that one there, a whole box of 1984 cellos. I was over at Moon as a kid. I thought it was the best gift I could ever have. I went through those cards and ripped through them like no one's business, and it got me hooked, and I'm still hooked to this day. So this is kind of sentimental here. I have it number two. I think uh, I really like the design of this one with the, the two uh, photos. Um, it's a simple... Uh, Simple design there with the big old uh, team name on the side. I kind of like that. Um, I think the only down thing of Tops was uh, the, the the star studded lineup in there. It really wasn't anything. But let's go to the top five. Top five up on the board. There it is. Probably the most iconic card in 1984, and everyone is recognizes it. Everyone wants it. It is. 1984 rookie card of Donnie Baseball, Don Manningly. Yeah. I mean, when you talk about 84, that's the number one card you talk about. It's the number one rookie in that set. Uh, it's the most iconic card you can get on 84. Uh, there's nothing else to say about it. It's just number one for a reason. And you know why? Oh, uh, number one is Don Manningly. Uh, it was rookie card. Next one, we're going to go the extended set. We're going to go with Dwight Gooden on his extended rookie card set. Again, it's in the extended, but 84, they did not produce as much as they did in the late 80s. So the card is a little bit valuable. Dwight Gooden's still uh, very popular, uh, especially in the New York area, those 86 Mets. So uh, getting his rookie card here is quite special. Number three on the list is a hall of true, true Hall of Famer. I think I like this card. I think it goes for a little bit of value because of the team. It is 1984 Pete Rose. It's in the traded series. It's the only time he's in an Expo uniform, so it's kind of unique. Again, he didn't play for the Expos very long. One year, um, you know, it, it's a special card, you know, and then right from there, he went to Cincinnati right after that. So uh, I think it's a little bit more valuable because, again, the traded series, they did not produce that much in 1984. So it makes it a little bit more valuable. Along the side of him being on the Expos jersey for just that one year, I, it makes it special. It makes it valuable. That's why it's number three on the list. Number four on the list is Cal Ripken Jr. Of course, it's Cal Ripken Jr. His second or his third year card. It just tells you how much his value holds up. Um, you know, uh, it's, it's his third year card, and it's still a top five card. It just kind of shows one thing: one, how good Cal Ripken Jr. was, and two, how weak the set was. Uh, for rookies, because there isn't much in there. As a matter of fact, we're going to go to number five. got to go back in the traded series to get number five, and that's good old Brett Saberhagen. Very uh, underrated player. He was so good for so many years uh, with so many different teams, the Royals, the Mets. So uh, his rookie card's in the traded set. So that makes it number five on the list. So we got this very nice cello pack that I got. I still have one here, so we're going to open that up. We're going to see if we can get Don, Donny Baseball or Cal Ripka Jr. or any stars in here. There's also all stars in here. There is the good old leaders. Uh, so there's quite a bit of subsets in here as well. So let's see what we get out of here. And you know what we're going to get, right? We're going to get 1984 gum. Yum, yum. Oh, let's pull that gum out. Oh, we got to chew that. Oh, yeah. Looks a little suspicious. A little goofy, but... You know, my stomach can handle that. Mm. Oh, truly, what the heck? 
Well, it shouldn't be chewy. I'm gonna have something wrong with it if it's chewy. Alright, there we go. So again, nice little design. I love the double photos. Um, I wish they would have done this more often. They did it in the late, in the mid 50s for a while. They did it in 63. Um, they kind of did it in 1971, but they kind of stopped. And they brought it back in 83 and 84. I just kind of like this. They brought it back this year in the 20, 20, 23 cards, which is kind of cool. It's a great design, 2023 for modern. But you can't go back with this classic here with the bright color background there and the action photo. Uh, so we're going to start out there with the Cubs. Give me Cubs love there with Mel Hall. So there you go. Here's some Cubs love. And we got Vern Rule from the Astros. Hey, there's a good card right there. We're going to get old Dale Murphy there from the Atlanta Braves. Should be in the Hall of Fame. We got a lot of him lately. After that, we got Jamie uh, Easterly from the Cleveland Indians. After that, we got Bruce uh, Brunel from the Cincinnati Reds. Al Collins from the Seattle Mariners. Tom Foley from the Reds. Good old Sparky Anderson. Get my Tigers love there. Can never go wrong with Sparky card right there. Rest in peace, buddy. Great manager for the Tigers and the Reds as well. And after that, we got good old Jim Clancy there from the Blue Jays. So there you go. Good old Jim Clancy. There is Doug Frobel from the Pittsburgh Pirates. Who remembers him? I don't. And that's what the All-Stars look like. We're going to give Gary Carter the nod there for it. Again, all so simple design. All-Star there. Uh, so that's what the All-Stars look like. And Gary Carter there. And then we got Lorenzo Gray on the White Sox. We got Matt Koff there from the New York Yankees. We got Luis Pujols there from the Houston Astros. And there is our uh, run game. Only got one run there. So you can collect 25 runs to win. Yeah, there it is, a Hall of Famer. There's Harold Baines there from the Chicago White Sox. Get some Baines action. There is good old Alan Wiggins from the San Diego Padres. Lee Mazzelli there from the Pittsburgh Pirates. Gary Allison from the uh, Boston Red Sox there. Ron Guidry, there's another good player there from the New York Yankees. Yeah, there's a BC Hammer Retro. We're going to get BC out of there. We're going to get Whitaker hit you high in the air to deep. Retro. We'll take that out of the 84s. Great card right there. Great career with the Tigers. Should be in the Hall of Fame as well. Uh, that's just my opinion. But there we go. After that, we got Lonnie Smith from the St. Louis Cardinals. Jeff Reardon from the Montreal Expos. Steve McCaddy from the Oakland Athletics. There's Jesse Arasso there from the New York Mets. Charlie Moore from the Brewers. And after that, we got Fergie. Get some Fergie love. There we go. We're delicious there. Done. Right team right there. You gotta love him in the Cubs uniform. I believe this was his last year card too, 1984. So look at that awesome career he had. Mostly with the Cubs. There you go. Get some Fergalicious love. Hey, after that, you can get a decent player there. Tim Raines. Uh, there he is from the Montreal Expos. David Hollister. Uh, from the New York Rangers, and last but not least, Dale Murray from the New York Yankees. No Donnie Baseball. Uh, not major stars in there. We got a couple decent uh, players out there, Dale Murphy, Tim Raines. So that is 1984 tops. Let me know what was your favorite card from 1984. Was it the Donnie Baseball? Is it one of the others that brings back memories to your childhood? Let me know. Leave those comments. And we got one Number one left, and we'll probably do that here soon. And you know what year it is? If you've been watching the whole series there, we'll be featuring that and next. Number one for Retro Robbie's Top 10 Tops Design. So until next time, everyone, Retro Robbie saying, collect what you love.